Welcome to this key of A jam track. We're getting weird with this one. We're starting on the two minor. It's a B minor. Then we're going to go to an E over G sharp, which is A's seven chord. Most commonly in the seventh position, you have a five over seven chord. In this case, an E over G sharp. And it looks like this. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to press here. It's the same two notes that you'd uh, push down when you're doing an E chord. And I'm going to try to clamp there and round that knuckle out so that I'm not touching anything else but those two. And I'm going to reach out to the fourth fret, to the top string here and the fourth string down here. And it sounds like this. It's a cool chord. Pretty fancy. I'll be honest. There's not a lot of guitar players who are open position acoustic type players that play that chord. Here's the thing about an over chord. You can always just play the first letter as the chord. If you can't get like an E over G sharp, just play an E and hope nobody notices. But it's so cool. The whole point is we want to hear that G sharp note. There's, there's a purpose to those over chords. They sound good. But if you're in a position where you're playing maybe with a band and you've got a bass player, maybe a keyboard player, they can hit that G sharp while you just go to E. So if you want to skip the E over G sharp right now and replace it with just an E major, eh, do it. But work on that E over G sharp. So we've got B minor. No. Remember, we're always looking for the simplest transition between chords. B minor, already a difficult chord. <laughs> we've got a straight bar here. We've got rounded fingers here, plenty of pressure, and we've got our palm dropped down. Transitioning to E over G sharp, this is already where it needs to be, and this is already where it needs to be. All we need to do is bring this third finger up, and bring the middle finger off. It's not doing anything. It's kind of a cool transition. Those over chords really rely on the chord before it and the chord after it to hear it in context of how it works within the key. It doesn't really work as its own sovereign chord that can just hang. Bow, 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 bow. Sounds it gets a little weird. Maybe practice in this case. When you go to A, keep that bar, just drop it down. Notice there wasn't a big change for that pointy finger to go to the A major. I'm clamping one, two, three strings and then arching that knuckle out so that hopefully I can hear that high E string. All right, so let's just play the chord progression. If you want to just listen this time, that's fine. So it's going to go like this. We're just, let's just do uh, quarter note strums. It's going to go like this. Trying to get that E over G sharp to A. To E. B minor, big jump, straight bar, E over G sharp to A. So as always, pause the video, come back to it in a week and a month after you've worked on these chords. But don't move on till you can comfortably play these chords. And guess what? You're gonna be an empowered musician. That's what we wanna be. We wanna be an empowered, capable musician to be able to jump into a situation and feel like you can contribute. Like you can be a part, your own piece of the pie, right? to the bigger picture. It's where we want to get to. You ready? We're going to go one, two, three, four, B minor. We can just do one strum. Two, three, let's go to A. Going to E. If you want to quarter note that, you can, like this. E over G sharp. Going to E, you can double it up. <laughs> Going to A, Going to E. Pick any one of those that you want. Be a part of it, just try to be a part of it in some way. 
That's a hard one, isn't it? Ooh, a lot of mus, a lot of muscles being used here. A lot of clamping. Oh, it's difficult. If you gave it your best effort and you're working on it and you're not gonna give up and you're gonna keep working on it, I'm applauding you. You be you, you do your best. You keep building that experience. Keep building that knowledge. Keep strumming that thing. Practice your transitions. You can do it. And uh, definitely, again, download the uh, free guidebook at InsideOutOnline.com. Thank you for watching. I'll see you on the next video.